My name is Peter Wong. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Orthopedics and Rehabilitation at the Yale University School of Medicine. I'm an orthopedic surgeon who specializes in treating spinal conditions. I would like to speak about the incidence of sacroiliac joint issues following lumbar fusion. It's been estimated that 15 to 30 percent of patients with chronic back pain may actually be experiencing symptoms related to the sacroiliac joint. In patients who have undergone previous lumbar fusion, that percentage is even higher. In a study completed in 2011 by De Palma, 43% of patients who had undergone previous lumbar fusion and continued to experience chronic symptoms or developed new symptoms following their fusion actually were exhibiting signs and symptoms consistent with sacroiliac joint dysfunction. Performing a fusion of the mobile lumbar spine can result in what we call adjacent segment degeneration affecting both other adjacent spinal segments as well as the sacroiliac joints. By fusing the mobile spine, the remainder of the lumbar spine and the sacral leg joints are subjected to increased loads, which can cause them to degenerate over time. As a result of these increased loads, the lumbar spine and the sacral leg joints can develop progressive degeneration, resulting in increased pain or new symptoms following their lumbar fusion. So any patient who continues to experience pain or develops new symptoms following their lumbar fusion is going to be at risk for adjacent cement degeneration affecting both the spine or the sacroiliac joints. For these types of patients, I obviously want to evaluate the lumbar spine, but I'm also keeping in mind uh, the possibility that their symptoms could be arising from the sacroiliac joints. At that point, it's important to perform a thorough history, perform a physical examination focusing on provocative maneuvers stressing the sacroiliac joint, and then consider a diagnostic injection into the sacroiliac joint. Because of the overlap in terms of the history and physical exam findings of patients with lumbar spine issues or sacroiliac joint dysfunction, it's obviously critical for us to uh, establish the correct diagnosis. In fact, it is possible that patients may have undergone lumbar fusions for symptoms actually arising from the sacroiliac joint. The challenge is that many of these patients may have issues related to both the lumbar spine as well as the sacroiliac joints. For patients who develop new symptoms following a lumbar fusion, it is possible that because of adjacent some degeneration, they may be developing issues with their sacroiliac joints, which could account for these new types of symptoms.